All right. So, med kit. Thank you. I'm probably hurting. I'm not hurting. Okay. Right leg, left arm, torso, right arm, head, and sutures, antidote, vanities. Looks like a diary. It's gotta have some clues. I bet it does, boy. Um. Diary of Brian Button. Well, I agree this one little thing. Blah, 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 blah. Dead, dead, dead. Bones here. Okay. Oh, hey. Old photos of Innsmouth. Most of them have faded beyond recognition. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Oh. Um. The game is stuck. Game. Um. Game. Game. Practice deep breathing. It's making weird fucking noises. I know! Jesus! Alright, we're back here. Nothing of interest. Holy shit! I agree. That would have been a lot more, uh... Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Noose broad? <laughs> really?
It won't open. Okay, well, I guess that is the only way to go then. The door's bolted shut. I'm aware. Oh, we're back here now. Hello, Jack. Hello. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Like this save point! Like this save point! Sensitivity got all kinds of fucked up there for a second. This statue commemorates the men who fought in the Revolutionary War. Hello? Shush. Shush. It's a variety store, and it's closed. Oh, this town doesn't have a variety. <laughs> I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Okay. Back here. It won't open. It won't budge. Baldy. Fucking weirdos. All right, I guess we just keep wandering the fucking streets. Guy's just pissing in the alleyway. Hey. That's lovely. Dark creepy alleyway. Hello, sir. You look ill. There's the Marsh Refinery. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. That guy looks like Lovecraft. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Walters. Later, lady! This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Is this important? The station appears to be closed. Fuck, there's hair in my ear. Well, back here. Hello? Yawning. This is spooky. Hi. That's my temple lynching. That way I used to criminal activities. I haven't talked to this guy. Hello, officer! Okay, officer. Can I go down here? Officer. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. Oh. Okay. It must lead to the back of the variety store. The sign says, Insmith Poorhouse, Fox. in memory of Lady Warrens. Damn enough to put out a fella's smokes. Okay. It won't open. It won't budge. It's just a trash can. Nothing of interest. That's what they all say. Is there nothing here? Nothing at all? Nothing. It won't open. There's nothing. What do I have? I have whiskey, I have eight bullets. Morphine, and I've got a journal. And I got a pocket watch. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should visit the Order of Dagon. It won't open. Or not. Sir. 
Do you know the Burnham lad? Something's he worked coming. Just leave me be, stranger. Talk like this is. What's the grand building across the square? That's the old Basalic Temple. Not that the masons use it no more. Why? Who uses it now? Them said it take grave offense at strangers asking too many questions. Okay. You guys are all secretive. I don't like it. It won't budge. No, but it's serious. Oh, jeez. Spooky dark! It won't budge. Oh, story of my life. It won't budge. Okay, uh, South Street. We've been down here before. We've been here. We haven't been over here, though. This is new. I think. I hope. I pray. With a good wind pipe in early in the Solomon's Gallons, man. <laughs> my boys, these oh, are geez. the choice <laughs> of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife in the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out. And the growling thunder sounds his gong, and the whirlwinds battle out. Ha ha! Do you think that's the valiant shrink? No, no. Huh? Who is that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though too few years it now. Zedok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Oh, you want a drink, buddy? Okay, well, I happen to have a bottle of bootleg rum. Take. No, oh, he did take it. Cheers! Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Thank you, Zadok. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that star rumor in an anchor in lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Uh, old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that to answer their prayers. Okay. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and 30 of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of 46, them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them, 
Swarms of them. Oh, yeah? Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Ah, uh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Soldiers screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy of strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrifice them. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just ask old Wes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Thank you, Zadok. I love you. You're, you're helping me progress. Good job. Don't die. I love you. <laughs> Tonight, boys, we must fight for the wizard. The wizard.